We all spend hours doing small online tasks, checking product prices, collecting emails, comparing services, or searching for data. It looks simple, but it takes a lot of time. Sometimes we open 10 tabs, copy numbers, paste them into a sheet, and repeat it again the next day. That's where most of us waste time without even realizing it. But what if your browser could do all of that for you? Browser Act is an AI web scraper and automation tool that can do these boring tasks for you. You tell it what you want and it follows steps to get the data, no coding needed. Think of it as giving your browser a brain. So the link is available in the description below. After signing up, you'll see a dashboard like this. Here, we have three main options. Workflow Builder, Quick Agent, and Integrations. Below that, you'll find Featured Templates, which you can explore, view, and use directly. But let's start from scratch. Click on Create. Here, you'll see two options, AI Workflow and Agent. First, let's test the Quick Agent. This feature is currently in the testing phase, and it's perfect for simple ad hoc data extraction or quick experiments. Now, you need to add the agent name and an optional description. Then, under the instruction section, you'll need to enter commands. For example, I'll write, use slash browser control to open the Amazon website. You can add more detailed instructions. The more specific you are, the better the agent will perform. On the right-hand side, you'll find the tool section. You can also select the intelligence model, choosing between the fast model and the intelligent model, and define the execution style. Under Agent Settings, you can set options like the maximum run steps, and once done, click on Publish. Choose Publish as New Version, and then click on Run Now. Now, we're inside the agent. Here, you need to enter your command. For example, search Amazon for gaming laptops, collect the first 15 results with name, brand, current price, old price, and rating, and export to CSV. Hit Send, and it will start working instantly. In step one, it creates a detailed stepwise plan. Then it navigates to the Amazon website, enters gaming laptops into the search bar, and submits the search using the submit button. It performs all these steps automatically. And within a few seconds, here's our result. You can preview the result, check the file preview, and see all the extracted data, including the name, brand, current price, old price, and rating. You can also download it. With this simple method, you can scrape data from any website quickly and efficiently. Now, let's talk about the AI Workflow Builder, which is designed to create precise, reusable pipelines for more complex tasks. Click on it and start by adding a name. Let's say eBay Targeted Product Price Scraper. Then, add a description. Next, you need to input parameters. You can see there's an option to add multiple parameters. For example, for the first parameter, I'll add eBay link, enable the use default value option, and enter the eBay product link. Then click OK. Next, I'll add another parameter, product name. I'll enter iPhone 17 Pro Max and click OK. Then I'll add another parameter, rating. I'll set it to more than 90% and click OK. If the website requires login access, you can also add credentials here. In the browser settings, you can select your preferred region, such as the USA or the UK. Now click on the plus icon and the node action library will open. First, select visit page and enter the command. Visit slash EBAY link, add a new node. Input text and write. Enter product name in the eBay search bar. Add another node. Click element and write. Click the blue search button to submit the search query. Click on the plus icon again and add a new node. Extract data in the description, write. Collect data from the full page, including products filtered by rating. You can also add filtering criteria, such as excluding negative reviews. Again. Click the plus icon, add one final node, finish output data, and choose the output format. You can export the data as CSV, JSON, or XML. I'll choose CSV and enable the option output as a file. 
Once everything is ready, click on Publish, and then click on Start. Now, it will begin executing the workflow. In the first step, it navigates to the EBAY URL provided by the user. Then, it inputs iPhone 17 Pro Max into the search bar, submits the search, and clicks the blue search button. It then analyzes the resulting page, checks for login prompts, and within seconds, collects all the required product data from the full page. And you'll see your extracted data exactly as per your instructions. Everything is automatically formatted, no need to manually copy data or enter details into Excel sheets anymore. Browser Act workflows can seamlessly integrate with automation platforms like Make.com and N8N. That means you can connect your workflow directly to Google Sheets, Notion, Airtable, or virtually any database. Your scraped data will automatically update in real time, turning Browser Act into your personal automated data collection system. To start automating your workflow, simply go back to the main page and copy your workflow ID from the workflow tab. Then head over to the integrations and API section, click on API key and create a new one. Avoid using the same API key for all your workflows. Creating separate keys not only improves security, but also keeps your setup more organized. In the workflow API section, you'll find everything you need from the base URL to authorization details to connect your workflow smoothly with external automation platforms like make.com or N8N. With Browser Act, you can do all of this easily and efficiently. The link is available in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.